Are you someone who loves tactical gear? If so, stay tuned while we take a look at Barrel and Blades monthly subscription box on really great gear. Welcome back to Really Great Gear. On this channel, we review tools, toys, and gadgets. Basically, anything that makes work easier or life more fun. Over the last few years, it seems like the subscription box business has been growing like crazy. If you're not familiar with subscription boxes, it's a program that you sign up for where themed boxes of products are sent to you on a regular basis, say every month or every quarter. From what I've been able to find out, this business model started around 2004 with a product called The Sampler, but it didn't really take off until 2010 when a company called Birchbox started sending boxes of personal care products and cosmetics to its customers. Many of these samples were donated by companies who were hoping to get their products in front of customers that would then start using them on a regular basis. As this business model started to skyrocket, it wasn't long before boxes appealing to men would start to appear. We reviewed a box from a company called The Crate Club a little while back. Crate Club is one of a group of companies that offers boxes of tactical supplies. You can watch that review right here. I'm planning on doing more subscription box reviews in the future. So if you have an idea for a subscription box you'd like to see reviewed, leave a note in the comments section below. Today, we're gonna look at another tactical gear subscription box. This one from a company called Barrel and Blade. They offer two levels of box. Level one for about 50 bucks a month, and level two for 100 bucks a month. I ordered the level two box to see what we would get. Now important to note is that the $100 a month box actually cost over $121 when shipping was included. Barrel and Blade ships by US Postal Service two-day priority mail. The box from Barrel and Blade weighs just under four pounds. On opening the box, the first thing I see is a note card saying this is part of Operation Plate Carrier. Operation Plate Carrier! On the back of the card is a breakdown of the gear in the box with what Barrel and Blade claim are the prices. We'll check the pricing in a little bit. Anyway, back to Operation Plate Carrier. Operation Plate Carrier! The Barrel and Blade website says that due to the large number of new customers monthly and extended manufacturer lead times, all new customers will get this as their first box. I guess I can see the rationale behind doing it that way, but I don't really like the idea. The first thing that I can see is what looks like a plate carrier, a holster for the plate carrier, a knife, and a light. The plate carrier is made by DDT, a veteran-owned company out of Mesa, Arizona. However, although it's a US company, this item is made in China. The plate carrier is their less expensive Krieger model, it's fairly low profile and has some padding on the shoulder straps, which is nice, a drag handle, and it can accommodate medium or large eSAPI plates on both the front and the back. DDT's website states they have a lifetime warranty against manufacturing defects. I haven't used a DDT plate carrier before, but it seems to be fairly well made from 1000D nylon. It sells online for between $40 and $50. Now, some of you gear snobs may try to compare this to Esotech or London Bridge Trading, but you really can't. You're going to spend a lot more money for one of those carriers. Instead, I've seen many individuals buy a well-made but less expensive plate carrier like this one from DDT and use the money you save to buy better plates to put into it. In my opinion, that's a solid idea. The next item I see is Condor's VT holster. This pistol holster mounts vertically on the plate carrier's Molly platform, and it's adjustable to fit a variety of pistols. Condor is a low-cost Chinese manufacturer. It's not bad stuff. Actually, it's pretty good, especially for the price. I've met with Condor's people at SHOT Show in the past and used to sell it in my store as our value-priced option. Next, I see a triple AR mag pouch, not from Condor, but Vism, which is made by NC Star. I'm not a big fan of NC Star stuff. I believe it was started to originally supply low-cost optics and gear to airsoft players, which is fine, but I'm not sure I'd want to depend on their gear if my life was on the line. However, the mag pouch seems reasonably well made. I'm just not sure how long it'll stand up under lots of use. Next, we come to the light, the CR1 Tungsten by ASP. 
Asp is known as the company that makes the expanding batons favored by some police departments. I haven't used their lights before, but this model claims to put out 265 lumens and will run for about an hour on one CR123 battery. Looking at the website, Asp says the bulb is a Cree LED, which is great, but I find it a little confusing that they would name a light tungsten that has an LED bulb. This light sells for about 50 bucks on Amazon, but Asp has them currently on sale on their website for $39, which seems like a pretty good price. Finally, we get to the knife, which is a Schrade SCHF 54 push dagger. This normally sells for about $30, but can also be found a little cheaper online if you search. The knife has a nice grippy handle and it comes with a molded sheath with a belt clip. Now let's check the value that we actually get in this box. Let's compare the prices of items on the card to what we can find online. First, the DDT Krieger plate carrier. That's listed on the card at costing between $60 and $80. We found it online for $40 to $50. Next is the Condor VT holster. Listed on the card for 22 bucks, we found online for 19. The NC Star Triple Mag Pouch, listed on the card is $15, we found it online for 11. The ASP CR1 Tungsten Light, listed as $57, we found online for about 50 bucks, although as I mentioned, ASP has that sale on their website right now for 39. Finally, the Schrade Push Dagger, listed on the card at $29, we found it online for about 20. So when you look at the totals, the total listed on the card comes to $183. When you look at the prices we found them for online, it came to about $140. So the value is still there, and we didn't count the $7 barrel and blade patch they threw in. That's just marketing. In my opinion, this barrel and blade box is a lot better value proposition than the Crate Club offering we reviewed a few months ago. So tell me what you think. Leave a comment below or take our poll. Thanks for joining me in looking at Barrel and Blade's Level 2 subscription box. We'll take a look in the near future at another Barrel and Blade box that isn't part of Operation Plate Carrier and see if the value still holds up. If there are other boxes you'd like to see reviewed, please leave a comment. As always, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It really helps out this channel. I look forward to seeing you next time with more really great gear.